AI art is here to stay. It's gonna replace the traditional way we make websites. It's gonna replace stock photography. It's going to replace design inspiration, but it's not going to replace me. Because in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use AI art to your advantage. So what I'm gonna do is jump into Midjourney, the AI art tool. I'm gonna generate some AI images of coffees because I wanna build a coffee website and then I'm gonna actually use those images to build that website. And as a quick heads up, you don't need to code for this. We're gonna use a no coding tool called Editor X. Let's begin. First, head over to midjourney.com. It's free, so you can join the beta just by clicking here. You'll be taken to the Discord. This has a lots and lots of beautiful artwork already. You can browse through having a look at what different people have generated. Things from Lord of the Rings in an animated style uh, to this Warhammer looking thing. There's quite a lot. But what we'll do is head over to the newbie room. Here you can generate your own images based on the prompts. And I want to generate one here for a coffee. Traditionally, what I would do is head over to Shutterstock or one of these websites that have coffee images and I would simply type in coffee. And here I would get some basic images of different types of coffees that we could have. And we could select one of these and have a look at the keywords. Cup of coffee, coffee beans, stack of dark background, top view. So these keywords I can actually use in the prompt, which is being a little bit cheeky. So I'm going to use them and I'm going to see if I can generate my own example of that. Heading back in here, I'm going to type in imagine. Then I'm going to put in my prompt, which is just this one here. And I'm not going to make any modifications whatsoever. And I'm just going to submit it just like that. And here we've got some of the images coming out. Now I can click on these and we can zoom in to have a look at them. And they look like they're a cup of coffee with beans and beans spread out. And another thing is that we've got a few different variations here. One has a coffee cup with a dark coffee in there. But the other thing which is kind of funny is that it looks like these almost have placeholders on top as if they came from a stock photography website. I think that's hilarious. I could probably Photoshop these lines out, but it shows that this AI might have been trained on these stock photography websites as well. The next thing to know is that there are aspect ratios that you can do with Midjourney. These are the ones you would normally find on a camera. So here, what you would do is type in dash dash AR. And you can pass in something like 916, which looks more like a phone, or 45, or 34. But in this case, what I want is something more widescreen, such as 16 by 9. So what I'm going to do is jump back in, and we're going to resubmit this prompt. I want more of a widescreen example of my coffee beans rather than this one just over here. So I'm going to copy most of this text that I previously had because I want similar generations. I just want them to look more like a wallpaper. And I'm going to pass in maybe some additional keywords to that as well. So let's type in imagine once more. Let's paste in this prompt. But I also want to pass in, say, wide screen and then maybe something like cup on the left. Oh, it looks like version four doesn't support 16 by nine yet. So instead, what I'm going to do is three by two. All right, let's paste that in and try once more. Here's the first a lot of new generated images that I've gotten back. And as you can see, these ones look uh, less like stock photography, more like actual coffee and coffee beans. I like this one on the very top right. Let's have a look at my second uh, rendition here. And this time it looks like we're getting more, I suppose, examples here with these dark backgrounds. Um, I like this one on the bottom right hand side. I think this is the one I'm going to use. So let's actually select a U4 here and have an upscaled version of it. And here's version four. If we zoom in, we can see that this is a very nice cup of beans with beans all around on a nice uh, mat. And there's even some beans in the coffee, which I guess is open to interpretation. It's not really how I would make a coffee, but it does look aesthetically pleasing. If we compare this to the Shutterstock photography, I suppose the closest resemblance is this here. Now you'll notice the difference here is the fact that most of this is on the left hand side with lots of room on the right hand side. And this is where you can always just download that image, throw it into Photoshop, place it here on the left hand side and you could even fill out the other sections. There's a few ways we could fill these out. We could just grab the background color and then we could create a brand new layer here inside of Photoshop and just sort of put that black in. It almost blends in. And then for this image here, we could just have the, uh, I believe the tool here is the eraser and just sort of erase around the edges here. So that almost fades to black. 
And now we have a pretty good image that we could use with content here on the right hand side enough for applying maybe a hero text or something like that. This time I want to be more specific. Let's try one more example. I'm going to have a white cup with coffee steaming fresh hyper realistic 8k photo graph sunset. I think that should do. We've got a four nice images of a coffee cup. It's a white cup just behind a sunset. I kind of like the bottom two the most. And you can see almost that hyper realistic sunset kind of showcasing the steam. I think that's really cool as well. They do kind of look CG though, which uh, maybe we can do this one more time uh, and get ones that look less CG. I tried again and uh, I think the AI kind of got confused there. Now it looks like it's a mirror or the sunset is on the coffee cup. That's just a fail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick with my original generations and I'm gonna start building a website using them now. Since we're using the latest in tech, we might as well also use no code to build this website. I wanna build a section here in Editor X. So let me log in and start this up. I'm gonna create a new website design over here and let's actually pull in this image that we just generated through AI art into it. I'm now inside of the editor. I can click the plus sign and head to compositions. I'm gonna select about, and I'm gonna select an image that'll work well with this design. So this one here with the black works quite well, and it could be to introduce that design. We can select to change the image, and then we could upload the image itself. I've already uploaded it, and it's just over here. So I'm gonna select it. And then on top of that, we can select a focal point, and I want the focal point on top of the actual coffee itself. So we are always having that in focus. Finally, you'll notice that this section sort of seems to be the wrong way around. So realistically, we could move this stack here on the left hand side, we could move it here to the right hand side, we can paste in the image here on the left hand side. And I think that works a lot better. And it looks more genuine in terms of how this should look like. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to use AI art to now replace common things you would do like stock photography. But the real question is, how can we use this in general senses? of copyright. Now, copyright is a difficult thing, especially with AI training. The official statement from Midjourney here is that it uses artificial intelligence trained on public data sets. Such data sets sometimes unintentionally are very similar to the copyrighted material that has trademarks. This means that you do have to respect the rights of those holders. If you believe that there is copyright infringement happening, you can even write to them directly, such as, for example, I'm sure other people have. And I'm not an expert, so make sure you guys read these yourselves and comply with those regulations. Finally, I've got a Discord where a lot of people are sharing the AI web designs they've created. I'm on there and I'll chat as well if you want to. Otherwise, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.